Hello everyone, welcome back to the Drumelia YouTube channel. My name is Benjamin Beza and today I'm really thrilled to present to you our latest exclusive listing in La Zagaleta, Casa de Regles. Set on the super private plot of 7,491 square meters, we have this impressive house with 1,049 square meters of interior living space, plus terraces, six bathrooms, six bedrooms, and it's listed for sale exclusively with Drumelia Real Estate today for only 6.5 million euros. And for those who don't know much about La Zagaleta, let me tell you, it is the most exclusive, the most luxurious and the most secure residential complex in all of Europe. It offers very large plots with a very big distance between the plots, meaning the privacy is absolutely unmatched. On top of that, it has a number of exclusive services such as two golf courses, two restaurants, a gourmet shop, a clubhouse, you find a question center, heliport, you name it, everything you need within this one secure exclusive complex. And it is just a few minutes down into Marbella. Now, if you need to know more about La Zagaleta, make sure to click on the video we will be linking up here, where our CEO, Mr. Artur Loginov, goes on a detailed and extensive tour all around the complex. Upon arriving to the property, you welcome by this winding tree-lined driveway, taking you up to the impressive courtyard entrance, already delivering a magnificent mansion feel. The house gives a grand impression of exclusivity and luxury, while it keeps its genuine Andalusian charm. The courtyard of the house is very representative of this Andalusian Mediterranean dash Moorish style with the hand placed stones on the driveway, the beautifully manicured and mature gardens all around the property, as well as the Moorish bubbling fountains. The driveway takes you to a three space carport and there is as well an underground garage for four cars, which you take as you drive up the driveway on the first right. Upon entering the house, you're immediately welcomed by this majestic entrance hall. It is a double height, vaulted ceilings covered with this intricate Moorish kind of style woodwork there. The masonry in the wall appearing to be like huge limestone blocks together with a natural stone travertino tiling on the floor. The picture windows you have at the very top of the entrance hall, all the woodwork, the arches. I mean, it has just such a unique feeling. To me, it feels like some sort of castle or some sort of chapel, yet very stylishly mixed and blended with this architecture, Andalusian, Moorish, at the end of the day, Mediterranean architecture. From the entrance hall, you get to access via this beautifully handcrafted staircase with wood and metal. The primary stances or the master's headquarters, which are solely to be found upstairs. Then you have another staircase which takes you down into the basement, which I will show you later. On our left-hand side, you will be accessing the staff quarters, kitchen and dining area. And to the right, you have a corridor that takes you to the two guest rooms in the ground floor. As we enter the grand room, you immediately notice as well how well laid out this house is. So you're gonna find multiple connections between the main living areas. All the main living areas are set across the facade. So you're getting a lot of light and you're getting a fantastic view pretty much from every spot you're staying. More to that, they're brilliantly connected via these arch doors connecting the living with the dining, with the office area, with the terraces. So it's offering a lot of uh, different options from formal to casual to live with your family, with your friends inside, outside during the whole year. 
An owner comment is that this house is very well designed as well from an environmentally perspective. They said that the house is very, very fresh and cool in the summer, yet it remains very warm and cozy in the winter. So it's the shadings, the terraces that allow sufficient light to come in, yet they provide enough protection for the sun not to be burning you inside. And this house in general is just of very high quality. It all starts with the design, with the shades and with the layout, of course but then it goes back into the structure and into the materials that have been used and this house is no matter where you look no matter where you touch you can feel the high quality which to me it's defining true luxury all our noble materials the woods the stones all the details i mean look at the intricacy of the moldings in the sky or for instance check out this beautiful and huge fireplace i think it's about 1.5 meters deep and it's uh, beautifully connecting both the living area and the dining area I'm particularly fond as well of all the woodwork, all the carpentry. I love these large windows and sliding doors made of Iroko wood and uh, all the arches as well in the pathway in the crossings between the rooms. They're also made of wood and they are just of exceptional quality. I love touching these. They provide a very elegant and warm feeling to the entire house. On the west side of your grand room, you will find your library which is beautifully lit in natural light, all completely paneled in wood all around. Another owner's comment is that this wood was imported from France and it was designed after a premier French chateau library. It is all in general very cozy, warm, yet very elegant. Let me just point out how much I love this little bench that was left here just next to the window to enjoy your beautiful views. And on the east side of your grand room, you will be welcomed into your dining room, which, my goodness, I'm not sure if the camera will pick this up, but check out this massive table. Again, it reminds me of a castle. I can see the king and the knight sort of celebrating the latest victories on this table. And this room is also presided by our large fireplace, again, conveniently connecting, again, our dining and our living rooms. And of course, the dining area is connected to our kitchen, which transmits the feeling of a kitchen that is being used or a kitchen that has been designed by somebody who loves cooking. <laughs> they often call that the kitchen is the heart of the house because it's often time where most of the family gathers up every day. It feels homely, it feels warm and very solid. All the cabinets, all the stone, all the materials used again just deliver this experience of strength and quality. This kitchen is a fantastic one and it's ready to be enjoyed for many years to come. And then conveniently located just next to your kitchen is your informal or daily dining room, which is beautiful. Just look at, again, the high vaulted ceiling with all the woodwork there on the ceiling and as well all the uh, wooden sliding doors around, allowing not only the space to be flooded in light, but also the beautiful gardens to be shining and breathing into the property. Very, very nice experience to have breakfast here every day. Last but not least in our kitchen area, and again manifesting how well thought out the layout of this house is, is your stuff quarters or perhaps your nanny room or even another extra room for your guests which in this case also offers an independent separate access from outdoors very good for your privacy you have your service room or laundry room and a full double size bedroom with this end suite bathroom and a very nicely lit by natural light bedroom also with the show windows allowing the nature to shine into the property. And then as you finally leave the kitchen, take a minute to observe this beauty, this majestic entrance hall again with the arches, the wood, the stone. It's just beautiful. I love it. But follow me to the west wing of the house where we will find our additional two guest bedrooms which you have on the main floor. But firstly, here on the right, you will find your guest toilet, picture window, allowing the light and nature to shine in. Another 
cupboard for storage over here and again another separate access for your guests this property has three independent entry doors which make it fantastic one for your staff one for your guest and the primary entrance door and as we follow the corridor on we are greeted by these two additional guest rooms the first one is a beautiful suite separate access to go out on the garden this covered terrace offers a lot of privacy as well so your guests are going to be feeling like they are in a boutique hotel full-size bathroom both with bathtub and shower top-notch high quality premium materials just like you have in the rest of the house and to the right you will find this large l-shape walk-in closet plenty of space for your guests as well to be found in these rooms. Now follow me into the second bedroom. Beautiful picture window in the back, allowing light and allowing views. Bedroom with a very ample, generous size, double height, vaulted ceilings, access directly out into the garden with this little table here, allowing for a beautiful private space and this massive view just all around you. Check out how they fit it in this picture window just in the middle of your mirror. So it's not only allowing natural light for you to make the final touches in your outfit, but also providing a beautiful picture of the nature all around you. This one is fitted again with shower and bathtub. And in this case, they went for coral red marble, just beautiful, fantastic quality. And that should be it for our ground floor. So remember, we saw already three bedrooms on this floor. The one which should be reserved for your staff or for your nanny with this separate access by the kitchen side. Two bedrooms on the west wing of the house. And now it's time to climb the stairs and get to meet the master's headquarters. And again, what a beautiful staircase. I just love the way it's handcrafted with metal and wood. And this is a great chance to highlight again the beauty of this entrance hall. Just check out how majestic it is with the wood on the ceiling, with those picture windows, right? From up here, they make totally sense. Now you can actually get that picture and that beautiful light to greet you as you leave your master bedroom. And again, the masonry on the wall, it just feels like a castle. It's absolutely beautiful. And from here, you enter your master suite. So first thing as you arrive is you encounter these double wooden sliding doors. And remember I mentioned the entire upper floor of this house is dedicated for the masters only. So here on our left, you will have your walk-in closet. On the right, I will show you later our master bathroom, which is just beautiful. And here is your primary bedroom. Very substantial in size, very, very bright. Again, high ceilings, vaulted ceilings, and this massive terrace wrapping around the entire upper stances, offering this unobstructed 180 degree panoramic view to the rolling mountains and the golf courses. It's just stunning. And again, 100% of privacy. You can be doing whatever you want up here. Nobody's going to be able to see you. Now, let me show you the walk-in closet, which is a spectacle as well. So we have this very generously sized walk-in closet, again, with all the French paneled wood all around, very bright island in the center for all your accessories. And as we continue down the corridor, we will be arriving to the master's bathroom, which is extremely bright. Look at this picture window just in front of your bathtub. What kind of super relaxing bath experience that's going to be. We have double vanity, one on each side, one for him, one for her. We have as well a full walking shower, massive size, very, very nice. And your private little room over here. And now let's head to the basement because every mansion needs to have your leisure quarters downstairs in the basement. So come follow me and let's discover it. And again, as you descend to the basement, I can't help but feel as if I was going deep down into the catacombs of a castle. <laughs> of course, we haven't lost our luxurious and warm feel, but this is truly an experience that I'm sure will leave no one indifferent. And here we are down in our basement. From here, we will have an Again, an east wing, which is going to take us to our wine bodega, the gym, the spa, and two additional guest bedrooms. On our right, or as we go down our west wing, we will find our garage. First, follow me into our snooker room and our cinema room, which is a very large room to entertain 
quite a few people. In the middle of the room, you will find this large snooker table along with your table for perhaps playing cards and sipping a drink. And last but not least, our beautiful bar. Now, keeping in line with the organic and solid design of the house, I love the detail on how the brickwork has been left seen or exposed. Now, if you follow me along this way, we're gonna enter our cinema room, which would fit perhaps easily eight people. It has wonderful acoustics, I can already tell. My voice sounds different in here, it's fantastic. And it's got this surround system all around, along with four subwoofer systems. I love sound, this cinema I'm sure will sound fantastically. Now follow me into the next side of the house. First thing that you will encounter is your wine bodega. I mean, every Mediterranean house needs to have your wine bodega. And of course, as you come in, you will notice that it is the temperature is controlled, so you will be aging and keeping your wine at the right temperature. And following down the corridor, next stop is your gym and your spa, very conveniently located for your daily practice, just next to your main stances. And right next to the gym, you have this bathroom, which also serves as a spa. On one side, you will find your Turkish bath together with a sauna, all in this nice little bucket in here. And then just behind us, you have your sauna. And uh, the owners of this house, they're Swedes, so they know a lot about saunas. And they told me this is a proper Swedish sauna. It even has this airflow for a very revitalizing experience. And uh, continuing on further to the right, we will be arriving our two additional guest suites. The first one on the right, also called the spa suite, which has a double-sized bed and beautiful access to the gardens. And our second guest room, which is called Tanger Room, which is named after Tanger because it's also decorated with some Moorish touches. And I have to say, just both guest rooms have a fantastic size, very generous, fitting full-size bathrooms with bathtubs, windows, separate showers and bidets. Your guests will feel they are in a luxury boutique hotel. On the other side of our basement, we are encountered with a very bright, ample, clean and tidy garage. The owners have fitted this built-in wardrobes for some extra storage space, and there is sort of a little workshop kitchenette on this side. And last but not least, my favorite part of the house, and that's a tough one. If I had to pick one, which one would I pick? I don't know. But definitely these gardens and these covered terraces, they're just fantastic. They give you everything you need to enjoy and make the most out of your indoor, outdoor Mediterranean lifestyle. You have gum trees, cypress trees, evergreen pine trees, palm trees, blooming bougainvilleas, and they're just so perfectly manicured and fully mature. It is a blessing. This garden is just one of a kind. So you have your front yard, which is divided in two levels. So you could have two different events happening at the same time. On the right side of the house, you will find your beautiful barbecue and patio area. And then there is a beautiful Zen garden just behind, which serves as well the kitchen. And it's shady, very fresh, beautiful. And just behind your Zen garden, you will find these hiking paths that go within your property, within your plot, where you have a number of different corners that you could still transform into whatever activities you want to do there. There is even a citrus grove where you can pick fresh lemons and limes to use in your favorite recipes. And that's it for today, my friends. Thank you for joining us in this tour. Now, if this stunning house has caught your eye or you're interested in exploring any other property in Zagaleta or any other property in the Marbella area, make sure to reach out to Drumelia Real Estate since we are here to help you find your dream home. That's it for today. Thank you very much and take care.